Why are you so scared, bro? What the fuck? Snap out of that shit, bruh. And thank you to everybody supporting over on the Patreon for the uncut reactions and also the Phantom Troop where you can get even more uncut reactions and exclusive content that doesn't come here to YouTube. Links down below. Guys, we are back with another Zom reaction. It's been off for, I don't know, three weeks, two weeks. I don't know what's going on with Zom's schedule. Can you guys update me on what's going on with it? But we're back finally. So let's get this thing popping, bro. Come on, Zom. You too good to be pausing like this, baby. What? <laughs> <laughs> was that a Patek Philippe? What was that? Who recording? Oh, nah, bro. He put... <laughs> not put the timer on, bro. I'm gonna put the timer on. Get a solid gold watch. Look at this. It's hilarious. I love it. Would you do that? Hell yeah. Come on, man. I wonder how much value it actually holds towards you in a world where that's not really valued anymore. Hmm. Oh, Being able to actually see the stars like that? What? To Gunma. Okay. Like, at what point would you try to look for your family? You know what I'm saying? At what point do you say, ah, oh, you know, I haven't seen them in a real long time. Or, like, that's actually uh, after a zombie apocalypse. Like, wouldn't you want to go there first? Like, oh, I need to see if my family's good. Like, at what list of priorities would your parents be on? You know what I'm saying? I guess. Like, where would they stack on that list? <laughs> Nah, bro. Bye bye. Oh, he's leaving, leaving. Bye bye. Bye bye, Tokyo. I mean, three or four hour drive, that's with speed limits. You ain't got no speed limit now. You can go as fast as you want to. Nah. Me slow, slow. You gonna go to an RV dealership? Other people have this a similar idea. So yeah, Shizuka chan mo kougai o mezasu te it. これはもう<笑><笑> あ、確かに慣れない運転はリスクヘッジで控えた方が良くないですか? so funny she stressed out because she has a particular plan in mind she's like this is putting a wrench in my in my stats and my statistics and you know what I'm saying like she's so like, she's so analytical it's hilarious Not the Tommy Mats. Nah, bro, my damn butt ass again. Hmm. 
But a hybrid only works if you have electricity. If you have a hybrid, yeah, that looks great if you guys have electricity. If electricity goes out, you're fucked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I want this one. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's so dope. It's, it's like you always you're only looking at what has to be done what needs to be like you don't want anything like you don't want to do something that's just because i want to do it you know what i'm saying like i get the fact that you're it's strictly survival right now I understand but there's got to be something other than that that you can at least enjoy while you're trying to survive <laughs> vw bus <laughs> Not in Bali. <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah,腹減りすぎだよ。<laughs> いや、腹減りすぎだよ。サービスエリアでなんか食えるもの探そうぜ。暗くなるし、ついでに今日は休むか。よっしゃ。初キャンピングカー発行。おお、チェル。おお、シェ。Somebody <laughs> Not a baseball team. Who is this? He knew who Tendo was. Hold on, what? Why are you so scared, bro? What the fuck? Snap out of that shit, bro. This is crazy, bro. His anxiety of going to work is coming back, right? And it's like he's looking at him like you you did this to me type vibes, or he's having PTSD of it. But at the same time, like, nigga, I don't work for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm clocking and clocking out because I feel like I needed to pay bills, but none of that shit matters anymore. So you ain't shit to me. You know what I'm saying? もう何も心配しなくていい。元上司として困ってお前を放っておけ。エンド。お前もう一度俺の部下として働くというのはどうだ。わなの設置くらいやむを守るためにはうわなの設置くらいやむを守るためにはうわなの設置くらいやむを守るためにはうわなの設置くらいやむを守るためにはうわなの設置くらいやむを守るためにはうわなの設置くらいやむを守るために
Why are you so terrified of this dude, bro? Yep, she's like, he terrified of him, bro. You need to snap him out of this, bro. Is this on your list? Bro, he's he just he's terrified of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so crazy how someone could have that type of control over you, even when you're not at work. You're not working for him no more. You don't even work for him at all anymore. There's no work at all anymore, and you're still that suffocated by this person's presence. That is so crazy how somebody could have that kind of mental control over you. If that's your case, bro, please reassess. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should have that kind of mental control over you ever. He, okay, so this is funny. So this is the front, right? This is the front. So he's, hopefully he just saw like, hold on. You're supposed to be the big boss, yet you. it's almost like you scared of them. He outnumbered, so. Mm -hmm. And he's going to turn on him like, now you earned yourself an extra day. Their company equipment. Wow, that's crazy, bro. Bro, snap out of it, bro. Snap out of it, bro. What have you achieved thus far without this dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's he's regressed. It's like you're you've achieved X amount already. Like, dude, I've been surviving on my own. I've done X, Y, and Z since this whole thing's happened. What you mean I'm worthless? What you talking about? Snap out of it, bro. Be a little, good little cog. Come on, bro. You gotta snap out of this, man. Right, but that shit isn't real. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. It was like, you just saw. Like, there's this there's this thing of hierarchy where it's like, oh, well, I'm, it's like they're like, they came in. Oh, that's for us? He's like, oh, damn, I can't say it's not. You don't want, like, they have numbers against you. So, yeah, you may be leading them right now, but if a, enough of them say, we're not following you no more, this just you. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, oh, it's so interesting. The perception of hierarchy is wild. <gasps> Bruh. My man literally regressed, bro. Ugh, oh, he regressed. This is the type of shit, man, like, like, I understand the story, right? They want to say, hey, you know, you've done all these things, but you're still afraid of your past. You're still afraid of what's been done to you. And it's like, at what point do you say, no, that's not, that's not who I am. That's not how I'm going to be treated. And I'm going to keep it pushing. Especially when you already have results. It'd be very different if you had no results. You've been struggling. You know what I'm saying? But like you've been high key winning this whole time since the zombie apocalypse happened. 
there are zombies out to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you've been doing what's kind of unthinkable in the scenario, saving people's lives and doing some fighting a shark with legs. Like, you know what I mean? Like you've been doing the most and you scared of this fat over like what? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. So I think it's those things of like the psychology of that is going to be interesting on how he snaps out of this. I really hope that he snaps out of it. He needs to. And hopefully she'll be able to give him some some level of focus or refocus of like, dude, like you've been doing all this by yourself. What do you you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you even on that? Very, very interesting. I don't know, man. Like, I, it's, it's just one of those things where I'm like, you even tackled your other boss as a zombie, tackled him out of a window. Like, it's just one of those things, man, where I feel like the, obviously this happens in real life. But even still, it's like, like, they don't have control over you. They make you feel like they do. But they don't. You know what I'm saying? They absolutely do not. So I think in that regard, like, it's circumstantial. Oh, well, I need a job. I need to make money. So I have to do what the boss tells me to do or I'll get fired and I can't provide for myself or my family. Right? right? It's circumstantial. But those circumstances are gone. I don't need you to survive. I've been surviving. You know what I'm saying? He's obviously looking at it from a standpoint right now, like, okay, they got all these people, blah, blah. Oh, then he's running things. Oh, You know what I'm saying? Like, so there may be that perceived circumstance, but it's like, bro, you need to be talking about your talking people. Sorry, this is what we need to do. We need to get our tires and get the get the hell out of here. And even how you be talking to him, it's like, look, dude, like, who are you talking to? Like at a certain point, at a certain point, stand up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool. You want us to help you out? Great. But at the same time, I need this, this, and this done for my stuff so we can keep it pushing. And hopefully they figure it out. But we'll see how this goes, man. But that 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 psychology in this episode is kind of wild. It's kind of wild. And hopefully we get to see this move in a positive direction in the next episode. Uh, I kind of don't want to have him sit in this for too long. That and I think a lot of it for me is because of the fact that I've been in these situations of of growth. Right. Where, you know, some bad happens or, you know, you're in a particular situation that you put yourself in and you have to figure out how to get out of it or, you know, progress or what have you. But being stuck in something for too long, it it gets annoying to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you don't like it, do something different. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like this, then change. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like how people are treating you, change behavior. Like it's, it's a, it's not easy but it's simple. Does that make sense? It's not an easy thing to do, but it's a simple thing to do. But people are so afraid of what could potentially happen that they're paralyzed in just being in a trashy scenario for too long. And they just feel like, oh, I can't, it can't get better. It's like, yeah, but because you told yourself that it couldn't. So it doesn't, you know? So very, very, very interesting episode. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.